Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about properties of parallelogram. But to be specific, we will try to solve the value of x in this given figure and eventually hanapin natin yung length ng bawat sides of this parallelogram. If you want to watch the previous video na ginawa natin about the properties of parallelogram, I will put it here o yung link sa ating description box. So that further ado, Let's do this topic. So we have here a problem like this one. We have two problems here. We're in, for us to solve this, we will use the property of parallelogram. And kung mapansin nyo, lahat ay sides ang nawawala. Meaning, we will apply the property of parallelogram with regard to sides. So what we have here is a given direction. Find the length of each side of the following Parallelogram. We have here parallelogram A, B, C, and D. Kung alam lang natin yung properties, meron tayong property na kung saan opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So what we have here, we are asked to find the length of BC. The length of side BC. Where is side BC? This is your side BC. And as I have mentioned earlier, Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Meaning, if this side is opposite to your side AD, it simply means that they are equal in terms of measurement because they are congruent. So, what we have here, BC is equal to 9 units. Lalagyan natin units guys na kapag wala tayong unit of measurement. Sir, what about CD? For side CD, side CD, this is side CD, is opposite to your side AB. If CD is opposite to your side AB, meaning they are equal in terms of measure, this is also 6. So the answer here must be 6 units. So as you can see, we applied opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, it's quite different from the previous one. As you can see, we have here variable x and this 4x plus 10, 6x, 3x minus 3 are just representations of the exact value of the following sides. Wala pa tayong exact value. So what are we, go are we going to do here? Is to think of a solution. Paano ba natin makukuha yung exact value? And the answer to that is to solve first for the variable x. So, paano natin gagawin nyo yun? Alam natin, listen here ah, alam natin that opposite sides are congruent. Meaning, we could say that your side, I'm gonna use this space ah, your side AB, this AB is equal to side DC. Sir, what is the reason for CD? Sir, what is the reason? Because they are opposite sides. They are equal in terms of measure because they are congruent. So if we have this statement, side AB is equal to side CD, we can create an equation. How? Your AB is represented by 4x plus 10. So we can have here 4x plus 10, and then equal to, substitute natin yung value na CD, which is 6x. So as you can see, nakapag-form tayo ng equation which is 4x plus 10 is equal to 6x. So what we need to do here is to find the value of x. We will transpose 4x to the other side to become 10 na lang dito sa left side is equal to 6x minus 4x. As you can see, similar terms, 6x minus 4x is 2x. And then on the other side, is 10. So what we have here is this. I will ju adjust the paper. Divide both sides by 2. By 2. Cancel, cancel. Your x right now. Your x is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5. So meron tayong value ng x, which is equal to 5. Ngayon, 
Ang sabi kasi dito, find the length of each side of the following paral parallelogram. A, e, yung AB natin, CD, and BC, meron silang ibang representation. So, what are we going to do? First step, ito tayo. Alam natin that your AB is equal to 4X plus 10. Ito yung representation niya. For us to find the exact length of this side, gamitin natin yung value ng X, which is 5. Substitute here. So, it will become AB is equal to 4 times your X, which is 5, plus 10. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 10. Meaning, your AB or your side AB measures how many? 30 units. So, this is the length of AB. So, we have here 30 units. Ngayon, sir, what about CD? Diba? Ang CD natin is 6X. Uh, the answer is 30, actually. Because 6 times 5, which is 30. And another reason, bakit magiging 30 si CD? Because AB and CD are opposite sides. Alam natin that opposite sides are congruent. So this is also 30 units. Okay? Kahit solve pa natin yan, it will give you 30 units. Now let's move on with the other sides. We still have to find BC and DA. For the BC, it is represented as 3x minus 3. Now, your x is equal to 5, so it will become 3 times 5 minus 3. Simplify. 3 times 5 is 15 minus 3. As you can see, your side BC measures 12 units. So it will become 12 units. What about DA? DA is definitely 12 units, guys. Because BC and DA are opposite sides. So, guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!